connecting and building relationships, maintaining relationships that we have is another pillar of our well-being. Something that we really need to be very, very mindful of and very, very consistent with. It can be challenging sometimes to, to do this, particularly for me. I find building and maintaining relationships quite challenging, um, mainly because with it just being online, um, it can be very, very difficult to ignore it or to choose other things to do. But online is absolutely fine. It's more the communication that's important. Having that sense of purpose and community around us. So if it's on the phone or if it's on FaceTime or different things that we might be able to connect with people using, that is absolutely fine. It might be the dreaded Zoom that we use, which is, I know everyone's pretty Zoomed out, but we're able to keep those that communication and those connections with our with our friends and family consistent by using these tools. It could be that we just message or use social media. Or if we have children or if we're looking at the wider family, they're able to game and spend time with their friends doing that. It makes sure that we've got that support in place for ourselves. It builds our support network. It gives us a sense of belonging and purpose so that we're not just living for ourselves, we're living for a wider community, however big that is. And then it also helps us to combat stress. We're, allowed, we're able to offload to, our, to the friends and family that we have. Sometimes people don't feel like they can offload to friends and family. They feel like um, they might be burdening others, especially if our friends and family have also got a lot on. But I'd like to address that by asking you a question. If you feel like you aren't going to speak to a colleague, speak to a friend or a family member, about some issues that you might be experiencing because you feel like you're going to be a burden on them. Ask yourself if they would be a burden on you if they were to do the same. If you were to approach a friend who didn't seem themselves, would you consider it a burden if they were to offload a bit on you? Often we won't look at it that way. But I'd like you to consider that if you are experiencing issues that you feel it might be helpful to talk to somebody about. You are certainly not a burden. 